what is going on superstars we are back again with another video in this video i'm going to show you my best secret hack trading strategy that will help you to catch up a big move like this one or a move like this so sit back relax and enjoy with all being said the first thing first we always know market it always move making high highs and high lows or oh, it makes lower lows and lower highs or oh, it making the equal highs and equal lows so before i show you this strategy i'm going to be giving away my pdf uh, trading strategy wtb make sure to find the emoji within this video comment it in the comment section and which duration time you have found it another thing guys let us make this video it hits 10k views i'm going to be giving out 100 dollar plus the pdf if this video hit uh, 10k views so let us go to our strategy step number one what you have to do when you come on you h1 on your h1 time frame guys on your h1 time frame what we always to do that there is no need of looking the overall trend this strategy it does not need the overall trend so here is the hack the market is moving like this making the high highs high lows when the market is moving like this so make this as a vice versa it can move the, like that in when it's going short or it's going long so this is an example of a long <coughs> well if the market is doing that we wait the market to take the previous high high this is the high and this is the previous high we wait the market to take the previous high high and we also wait it takes the previous uh, this lower high when the market doing like that that is the hack we see this on only on h1 and on when we shift from candles and we go on line chart pay attention here i'm repeating this the market is moving making the high highs we have to go in h1 we have to go in h1 guys and we find we wait the market to do this making the high high come and makes the high low we wait the market to take the high high and it comes and it takes the higher low after the market doing that after we see that we go to line chart after reaching the line chart we get our trend line we connect this high low to this and we connect this high high to do we connect this high previous high high to the high high which have take this so after doing so we drew our trend line like this and like this way i'm repeating this again the market when do like that we wait it takes this previous high and it takes this previous lower high this is a high high which was taken out and this is a lower high uh, sorry a high low so they have also to take this out high low. after the market taking the high low i getting the points we get our trend line we draw from this high low when the market is here are you getting the point it might be here doing its business so we drew our trend line here like this and we drew another trend line like that in h1 and in what on online chat not on candlestick chat online chat after doing that so we get our horizontal tool our horizontal tool we drew our zone here around like this we increase it upward like this we make a zone here in h1 so we wait the market to come and tap into our zone to make a head and the shoulder pattern then we execute when the market is here we read the market our first tp is this the previous 
lower low because the trend will be shifting from the bullish to the bearish or from the bearish to the bullish so when the market it always change it have to do head and shoulders of double bottom are you getting guys or double top so we we'll wait head and shoulder pattern here to happen and then it what it bounces down tp at the neck tp1 tp2 is open are you getting the point so i'm going to take you to the example guys and tell you when to enter and what are the best thing you should see the confirmation so that you can execute that market let us go to the chart so as well you can see right now this move you can see this move from this end from this start to here are you getting we are on h4 right now we are on what on h4 we are on h4 so which is the best time frame to this i told you it is h1 so we have to shift our chart from from h4 h1 let's go already guys we are on h1 as right now we can see on h1 that the market have been coming making the high low high 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 low high 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 low high high and the market takes out this previous and takes this after making the high high comes and making a low are you getting the point so here is the hack now pay attention very well guys we shift our market to line chart when you we reach our line chart we zoom out very well to see to identify are you getting the point this is the high high this is the high low we take it out and also we take it out here we take the high low here are you getting the point so after seeing that in h1 we get our tool we get our trend line tool guys we get our trend line tool This is our tool. We connect this previous high which was taken out. Like that. We duplicate and we connect this low. Like this. Are you getting the point? So, assume that the market is here. So like that, you have to do this. The market when is around this side to give you this low. Are you getting the point? From the high high to making you a low and it comes to make a high low then it start moving down are you getting guys so if this happen we get our horizontal line we get what we get our horizontal line we back to the tool we get our horizontal line like this we move up to here we get the top of this previous high high which was taken out are you getting point we put there our horizontal line like this now everything is done are you getting the point we switch back to candlestick pad chart and then the next step everything it's done on h1 another step we find the last buying candle the last buying candle before we find that the last buying candle we have to duplicate this trend line trend uh, horizontal line we put at the top where the at the top of the week where the market where the price started to drop down including the week so all of this entire zone it's our sell zone it's our sell zone so what we have to do to wait sometimes the market it will move bigger 
let us say that uh, this is the high high hello high high the market have take this come back and takes this down and then when it comes when it comes to take here it can go all the way up because of the confirmation what i'm going to do give you they will be guiding you so that you will not make a loss so you can see this is our zone let us squeeze here let us zoom in is it zoom in or zoom out whatever you can call it. and then again we come back you can see guys you can see this that let me do like this so everyone can see it very well you can see that the market after for us identifying this we waited the market come and it tapped we don't bother we wait exactly the market to come and feel inside our zone we don't care who it breaks it because the most cases it breaks out of this zone it can break it and go above but we don't care that i'm going to give you how you can how you can confirm this so after the market entering our sniper zone yeah, our sniper zone so now it's time to execute we wait the market there are two things to do here one we use candlestick pattern you can see guys here if you always see these rejections these rejections guys they are rejecting they are confirming you that the market is about to start reversing so when do you execute do you need to stick in h1 or to the evening? of course you have to stay in h1 everything is done on h1 don't go down don't go up everything is done on h1 so we can draw our trend line connecting this law connecting any structure any structure which have been formed by the time when the market was coming to enter in our zone we can see the market makes here high a low a high a low a high it enters the zone so we can connect this to this we make our trend line or this to this we do our trend line let us draw let us draw here trend lines very easy we can draw this trend line this or we can draw this one here like that are you getting point so these these two trend lines this a and this b trend lines our counter trend we wait the market to break them and then we execute that is one if the market breaks this you execute because we have already confirming a head and shoulder this is will be a right shoulder so that it takes the market if you feel you are not comfortable draw the trend line if you want to go and aggressively this is this is here what happens this is for suicide bombers eh? you wear the boom so that it can burst on you if it burst it burst if you want to end aggressively you wait the market to come exactly when it reaches at your first horizontal line this you execute with the market execution bah you click your sell order with a small lot size you wait to see what will happen if it continues up 20 pips you add another entry it continues up another you another you 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 you, you, you what you add again so the most cases market it will not always repeat the same thing it can repeat it the same thing but on different uh, angles it is the same thing but it changes how it will be looking so you have to be keen to identify this sometimes the market can come and tap and start dropping or it can reach at the middle and it starts dropping 
or it can be past this the zone up and then it drops again so the safe way to use the trend line before you extrude and another thing another tip you see this leg you see this leg which makes a high high and then we come we take out this high low you will find the last buying candle before the market starts to drop we shift this uh, line we put it there we wait the market to enter and then we extrude another hack this is for aggressively aggressively hacks only another hack you wait the market to come up the top of these weeks it enters in the week are you getting of this of this leg here week you make the your zone and the week this is aggressively style you wait then you calculate you calculate if you using 0 0.001 you calculate 50 pips from the entry point from the entry zone which means from this zone we are going to calculate 50 pips is our stop loss which means we will be losing 50 dollars and we will be losing five dollars with our stop loss yes you can see you can see clearly guys that the market when it entered in our zone it didn't ex exceed these weeks are you getting sniper entry very risky but it's high pay you guys and aggressively you fight with the drawdown and the end of the roll then you can make money if you feel you, you are not safe with the drawdown you enter after this uh, after this counter trend get breaks out you can hear you can see here this in the candle which breaks out you execute then stop loss above this zone are you getting the point it is the same thing or you can wait this also to break out you execute here stop loss above this guys so where to take the profit yes where to take the profit it's here tp number one is supposed to be around this area guys tp number one around this area neck of what of this uh head and shoulder pattern guys you can think it is a double top this is not a double top it is a head and shoulder pattern because it was forming this thing guys are you getting the point that all of this zone guys where is our setup come back yes that all of this zone all of this our zone it was a zone of forming head and shoulder if you can see here this this was a shoulder all of this is a shoulder this is a head and this is a shoulder here. All of this is a shoulder are you getting the point guys so that is the hack if you feel you are not safe to execute around here to execute when they break out you wait all of this neck to be broken out all of the neck you wait here the neck to be broken out and when after the breaking out of the neck you wait the retest after that re retest you have to find the momentum candles let us go to see the breakout where the market breaks out it was around here it's when the breaks out we wait the momentum candles what are my best momentum candles momentum candles are the tweezers and the bearish engulfing or bush engulfing which are the tweezers which means the bearish which means the bearish candle will be equal to a bush candle or a bush candle will be equal to the bearish candle those are tweezers uh, and what other other candlestick patterns guys so you can see here right now after the break of the neckline we came back and the test where they given us a bearish engulfing you execute and you stop loss above this neckline guys or above this last high high uh, last low high uh, about the low high and then we broke out we come back to retest when you execute here make sure you 
Mm. Eusto Plus is above this previous lower high. Are you getting the point? So we swing the market, guys. We swing the market. Then TP2, guys. TP2, you can always find way before the market is starting to drop. When the market was starting to, before it started to drop, when it was going, making the high highs, high lows, high highs, every day high low is your TP. Every day high low is, it is your TP. So that is how you can catch that big reversal to catch a huge uh, movement. You can see after that happens, the market moved from, from point A to this point B and then pulled back again. It does the same thing, guys. You can see here. Uh, you can see here, guys. If we do like this, you can see very well that the market did. If we connect this and we connect this one, we draw our line here exactly. You can see that the market came and found this head, soda, and this uh, what? Uh, also the same thing, and then the market is starting to drop. Uh, let me put it in the middle here and we saw it very well. Maybe you can think that it's not the one. Uh, if we connect this point, bring it here, that one there. Here we draw it, uh, our zone like this. You can see also the market come and it tapping in. Yes, we moved. Or oh, we can break the trend line here, uh, the neckline. Also, something happened. Yes, execute here. Where is our last uh, lower high? Is it this one goes low, high, low, break, uh, come like that so this is our stop loss also the same thing we take uh, we take the market down you can see very well uh, here this was our entry around this place the market comes here if you can look around here it is the same thing also guys the market is doing the same thing are you getting point this is a secret huh? no one no one wants to tell you guys no one to tell you you can see you can see hmm? if you want to see this if you want to see this, uh, this if you connect this one and this one, you wait the market around this area, guys. It have come and break out, come and touch all of this zone, and then it continues down. Do you need anything, guys? Guys, 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 guys. Yo, let me show you a uh, upward example. It's here, guys. Yes, this is the buy example. If you look clearly, guys, you can see, you can see that the market come and make it like this. Hi, hi, hello, hi. And then it breaks this, comes back. Mm, this is our zone. It comes back tapping in around here, guys. So how do we do? We connect that and this. This is our zone. If you do like this, you can see the market come and tapped in and then we moved up. So here is the thing if the market is making the high 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 low come and break come and take this if we are selling we take this if we are buying we take this are you getting the point but which means market will come in come back and tap here make this head shoulder and then it continues up and if the market is going if it does like this high low high break come and break down if the market are you getting the point if the market comes again like this fail to touch here touch it comes comes fail to touch there then find this area well, which means if you find that it have already touched here it found I inverted head and shoulder guys this is a buy don't look anymore as sell because if it breaks this side, comes hand, come and touch here, then we continue sell. This is a head on, a head and shoulder. But if, what if it forms like this? That like this, comes back, don't touch, comes back and it touches here. This is an inverted. Now we are going up. That is the thing. What happened here? That's what happens uh, around here. That's what happens around here, and you can see the market rising. So, if you have really enjoyed and feeling you have learned big something from this video, make sure to give it a like, share, so that it will 
so youtube that ah uh, we have in a good community and it gives me more effort to give you more tips make sure to watch another video for sniper entries 